In the annals of human history, the Artemis III mission stands as a testament to our unyielding spirit of exploration and discovery. This auspicious endeavor is part of a larger narrative, the Artemis program, which is NASA's ambitious project to return astronauts to the lunar surface after more than half a century. The program's inception goes back to 2004, when the Constellation program was launched, only to be replaced later by the Artemis program under the Obama administration. The Artemis program, named after the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology, aims to create a sustainable human presence on the moon, paving the way for future manned missions to Mars. The first stage of this program, the Artemis I mission, marked a significant milestone by successfully launching an uncrewed Orion spacecraft on its maiden voyage in November 2023. The Artemis II mission, set to take place in late 2025, will carry astronauts around the moon but won't land. This mission is crucial as it will test the space launch system and Orion spacecraft with a crew on board for the first time marking a significant step towards the realization of the Artemis III mission. But the journey to this point hasn't been without its fair share of challenges. The Space Launch System, or SLS, a mega rocket with record-setting thrust, faced setbacks due to technical issues, including a faulty sensor and a liquid hydrogen leak. It also faced criticism for its single-use design and high costs, with a staggering price tag of $23 billion from 2012 to 2022. Despite these hurdles, the Artemis program has remained resilient. With the successful launch of the Space Launch System, the Artemis program is now in full swing, steadily progressing towards the much-anticipated Artemis III mission. Artemis III is not just another moon mission. It symbolizes a new era of lunar exploration, this mission, slated for 2026, will see astronauts deploying various experiments on the surface of the Moon, each offering unique insights into lunar conditions. One such experiment is LEAF, Lunar Environment Agriculture Facilitator. This experiment aims to study plant growth in space radiation and partial gravity. The objective? To understand if we can grow food on the Moon. Imagine astronauts tending to their own gardens, growing fresh produce in lunar soil. This could significantly reduce the need for resupply missions from Earth, making long-term lunar habitation a more feasible prospect. Then, we have LEMS, Lunar Environmental Monitoring Station. This experiment will focus on moonquake monitoring. Yes, you heard that right, moonquakes, similar to earthquakes, but on the moon. By studying these seismic events, Scientists hope to learn more about the Moon's interior structure and geological activity, giving us a clearer picture of our celestial neighbor. Last but certainly not least, we have LDA, Lunar Dust Analyzer. This experiment will analyze lunar regolith, the layer of loose, fragmented material covering solid bedrock. The data gathered could provide insights into the Moon's geological history, and even help identify potential resources for future lunar missions. Each of these experiments, LEAF, LEMS, and LDA, is a piece of a larger puzzle, a step towards understanding the Moon in ways we never have before. With these experiments, Artemis III is poised to not just explore the Moon, but also to unravel its secrets and potential for sustaining human life. One of the most exciting aspects of Artemis III is the inclusion of some very special passengers, plants. Yes, you heard it right. The Artemis III mission is not just about human exploration, but it's also about understanding how other life forms, specifically plants, can survive in the harsh lunar conditions. This fascinating experiment is named LEAF, an acronym standing for Lunar Environment Agriculture Facility. The LEAF experiment is designed to study plant growth in space radiation and partial gravity. Now, you might be wondering why plants? Well, plants are not only a potential source of food for future lunar colonists, but they could also play a crucial role in recycling air and water, thereby supporting sustainable human presence on the moon. But growing plants on the moon is not as simple as it is on Earth. The moon's environment 
is filled with challenges such as intense radiation, extreme temperature swings, and a gravity that's only one-sixth of Earth's. The LEAF experiment aims to understand how plants adapt to these challenges and whether they can indeed grow in the lunar soil, also known as regolith. The experiment will involve astronauts deploying plant growth chambers on the moon's surface. These chambers will be equipped with sensors and cameras to monitor plant growth and capture data on how the plants respond to the lunar environment. The collected data will be transmitted back to Earth for further study and analysis. This experiment is not just about growing plants on the moon. It's about the bigger picture, the potential for sustaining human life beyond our home planet. If successful, the LEAF experiment could pave the way for future lunar colonization. And who knows, maybe one day we could have lunar farms producing fresh food for the residents of the moon. The LEAF experiment is a significant step towards understanding how life as we know it could thrive on the moon. Artemis III is just the beginning. The moon is about to become a bustling hub of scientific activity. Imagine a future where the moon isn't just a celestial entity we gaze at from our backyards, but a destination for scientists, researchers, and even explorers. A place where we'll probe deeper into the mysteries of our universe, and perhaps discover new possibilities for human life. This future isn't so far away. NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program is a stepping stone toward this vision. The program aims to send multiple spacecraft to the moon, fostering a new era of lunar exploration. But it's not just NASA. Countries around the globe are joining the lunar exploration race. JAXA, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, is set to launch its smart lander for investigating moon or SLIM. This mission will demonstrate precise landing technology on the lunar surface a critical step in ensuring the success of future lunar missions. And let's not forget the role of private companies in shaping the future of lunar exploration. SpaceX, the trailblazer of private space exploration, is developing its Starship rocket for lunar missions. In fact, significant advancements are expected in 2024, including NASA's Artemis II mission to orbit the moon with four astronauts and SpaceX's development of the Starship rocket. In the future, we could see more private-public partnerships where government agencies and private companies come together to push the boundaries of what's possible. We might witness lunar bases where astronauts live and work for extended periods. And who knows? We might even see the moon becoming a launch pad for missions further into our solar system. As we stand on the cusp of a new era of lunar exploration, the moon is no longer a distant dream but a reality that we are poised to explore, understand, and perhaps even call home. Artemis III is not just a mission, but a promise of a future where the moon is within our reach. This mission, part of NASA's ambitious Artemis program, represents a significant leap forward in our quest to understand and explore the lunar surface. It is not merely a repeat of the historic Apollo missions, but a testament to our unyielding spirit of exploration and discovery. Throughout this video, we've delved into the facets that make Artemis III a groundbreaking venture. From the resurgence of lunar exploration, marked by the construction of the Space Launch System, to the new era of lunar study, ushered in by the planned deployment of experiments such as LEAF, LEMS, and LDA. These experiments aim to monitor moonquakes, analyze lunar regolith, and most intriguingly, study plant growth under the influence of space radiation and partial gravity. The potential implications of these experiments are profound. Studying plant growth on the moon could pave the way for future lunar colonization efforts, providing invaluable insights into the feasibility of sustaining human life beyond Earth. The Artemis III mission, therefore, is not just about reaching the moon. It's about expanding our horizons and opening up new possibilities for humanity's future in space. The Artemis III mission also sets the stage for a series of planned lunar missions, marking a period of accelerated exploration and discovery in the realm of space science. With each mission, we inch closer to realizing our vision of a sustained human presence on the moon, transforming it from a distant celestial body into a frontier 
of human exploration. As we look forward to the launch of Artemis 3, we're not just watching a spacecraft take off. We are witnessing the dawn of a new era in human exploration, where the moon is not just a celestial body orbiting our planet, but a new frontier waiting to be explored.